Hi, Werner here. Another reading from my book, J.S. White, Our First Architect. This month we're going to be reading from the second essay about the Oddfellows Hall located on 2nd Street. It was the second building that White built in Snohomish in 1886. And new this month we're going to be reading off of black and white copies provided by the production house Lucia Maclin intended just for editing. It's the first round of three. The skating rink was open last Wednesday evening for the first time in several months. The Eye, September 11th, 1886. In 1978, with membership down to 14 from a high of 250, the Snohomish Lodge No. 12 sold its historic home on the corner of 2nd Street and Avenue C. Like many of Snohomish's historic structures around that time, the building needed expensive repairs exceeding the resources of the surviving owners. The simple structure with solid proportions and modest Italian accents was sold to a realty company. Twenty years later, a young man sporting a long ponytail walked into the office looking for an historic building that needed renovation, and he was told, you're standing in one. The new owner restored the building with offices on the first floor, while maintaining the second floor in its original open layout. For sure, no trace of the three-ply Brussels carpet once described in the newspaper remains, but above the drop ceiling, Owners Nicole and her husband Matt discovered still hanging lamp fixtures, one in the center and two in the east end corners of the large open room used for the lodge's ceremonies. The handsome burnished brass chandelier ornaments also described in the newspaper was replaced by an incandescent lamp that was squeezed between fluorescent fixtures when the drop ceiling was installed in the 1950s. What remained was the original plaster medallion, securely fixed to the ceiling of wood, covered with thick paper, now peeling. The young owners hope one day to remove the drop ceiling and restore the original. Not all of history is looking back. Some is up, watching over us.